ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, as you can see, it appears that spring has finally sprung here, and we are going to take advantage and take a little time to go camping with the family and try to relax. There's a place very close to our house uh, that we can camp, but still close enough to get to work. Uh, I've already got the camper set up and ready to go. Uh, while we're camping, I'm gonna take just a little bit of time, it won't take long, I don't think, uh, to install a uh, backup camera on the camper itself and put a monitor in here. I've got a wireless camera system that I'd really like to get installed on the camper. Um, I've got some ideas of what I wanna do, but uh, that's not the main purpose of this video. The main purpose of this video is just to show that I have a life too. We uh, we have to take time and relax and enjoy and spend time with family. Uh, we're very, very blessed to uh, have access to this beautiful piece of property. It's not ours, it's a, a, a fraternity club that we belong to. And uh, it's got a beautiful lake uh, surrounded by woods. There's some nice fishing and stuff. Hopefully the weather cooperates with us and we're just going to spend some time and uh, relax and enjoy the camper. Oh, uh, before I forget it, a lot of people have asked about the uh, radio and some of the upgrades that I did on this truck. I'm in my personal truck if you couldn't tell. Uh, the radio has excellent sound, the uh, GPS unit works great, uh, but it, everything has a few glitches on it. Uh, the the uh, clock doesn't work very well uh, sometimes the volume doesn't work well and sometimes the radio just doesn't turn on you'll have to push the power button shut it off and turn it back on um, for the price I gave for it I'm I'm okay with it I it does have a few glitches that I'm not real pleased with uh, everybody wanted my honest opinion so there you go it, it's not not perfect by any means but neither am I so Anyway, uh, I'm going to get enjoying camping. Okay, so the weather's changed a little bit. We had a really hard cold front come through. So the fish weren't biting over at the lake where we were at. And Ethan and his buddy Gavin talked me into bringing them over here to a conservation pond that has catfish in it. Ethan's bound and determined to catch a fish of some sort today. We shall see. Will he or will he not? I don't know if you can see it off in the distance, the big American flag. Some of you may remember from last year a video of us riding motorcycle through here with uh, this street lined with American flags. We always keep the big American flag flying. And there's a memorial up there, which is pretty cool. You boys about ready to wet a hook yet? Ethan, the amateur professional fisherman. <laughs> we'll see if you catch any fish. <laughs> well, this pond here, I don't get to join them in. This is a conservation pond for youth only. And Ethan only has a few more months left that he can fish this pond because at age 16, you can no longer fish this pond. And Ethan's 15, so is Gavin, for just a little bit longer. Yeah, I only have like a week and a half left. Wow. Yeah, maybe you guys can catch something. Let's hope. If Ethan can ever get the poles ready. <laughs> Do what? So I'm gonna sit here for the rest of my life. Um. Well, I don't know if they're biting or not. That's the thing about fishing; you never know. Yay. They're usually pretty good in this little pond. Ethan has good luck here. Of course, they stock it, and it's a conservation pond. So, but as you can see, kids fishing only. And Ethan still doesn't have a wet hook. 
be funny if Gavin caught one while Ethan was still getting ready. Oh, there's something peeking its head out of the water. Probably a turtle. This thing is, this little pond is full of turtles. Ready, bud? Oh, there's a big one swirling. All right, now the race is on. Who will catch a fish first? Will they catch a fish? Do like my cousin Robin did me when I was trying to fish and be serious. She was yelling at the top of her lungs, here fishy, fishy, fishy. And then your mom <laughs> spilled two tubes of crickets in the boat. <laughs> I just gave up. I had to. And we're waiting. We're waiting. Welcome to fishing, Gavin. This is what you do, you wait. Perfect timing on my notifications. Got one starting to run with it. I can't hear you, the traffic in the background. So did your fish not take the bait? Or maybe he took the bait and left the hook. No more tapping. Anything, Gavin? Decent sunset. For too long, it's going to get too dark and the GoPro won't be able to see. Even though we can see, the GoPro won't be able to see. Do what, bud? No, I didn't say that meant we have to leave. Just the GoPro won't be able to see. If you do catch a fish. Might want to check your line if it hit it that hard. See if it took your bait or not. Oh, you're hung on something. What? Darn it. Maybe you got it loose. Or is that a fish? Is there something on it? It's coming in weird. What in the... It's a fishing pole! <laughs> he caught a fishing pole! Literally, he caught a fishing pole! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't catch a fish, but you caught a pole. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Show us your catch, Ethan. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> hey, it works. <laughs> At least he caught something. Okay, so it's a little bit cold and windy outside. I decided to come inside here and in the camper and unbox this and read the directions and try to see how I'm going to hook it up, where I'm going to hook it up, and all that stuff. Uh, here's the camera and uh, monitor. The manual, I might need that. Fairly good sized monitor. Let's see, it says seven inch. Usually that's measured diagonally, so. Seven inch monitor. Here's the camera. It's supposed to be wireless. Uh, wireless doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have to install wires. Wires just wireless just means that you don't have to run a solid wire from the camera head all the way up to the video monitor. So one of the mountings. All right, let's see what all we got here. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, so I've taken the time to read some of the directions. Haven't gone all the way through it yet. Uh, I'm a guy, I don't read directions, but anyway, uh, yes, I do. Let's see, according to the directions, this system is able to handle up to four camera heads. I only got the one camera head. Uh, this is actually designed for multiple uses, but uh, the wireless camera system I thought would come in handy with the, uh, with the camper. Uh, that way I didn't have to run a continuous wire from the pickup to the trailer, uh, camping trailer. All right, for those of you who are not familiar with wiring, this could look pretty daunting of a, like a daunting task. Uh, you've got a power and a ground, and then you've got trigger wires that would trigger the camera. For me, it's not that big of a deal because uh, I know what I'm doing. However, if I'm right in reading the directions, unless I'm using two or more cameras, I can throw that away. I can simply use this adapter cable to go to the power monitor. Simply plug that adapter cable up to a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug. And power the monitor and it's that simple, supposedly. We'll find out. Uh, if it is, that means that I could use this not only in my pickup, but I could use it in other things as well. You could transfer it from one vehicle to the next fairly quickly, because also included in the kit is a magnetic base mount for the camera head. So that'd be pretty awesome if I could do that, if I could switch it from one vehicle to the other. Uh, but right now the main purpose for me was to get it with the uh, my truck and the camper because there's a lot of spots where it's difficult to uh, to back into especially at night if you're pulling in late to a campsite or whatever but anyway uh, on to the next step okay so I finished reading the directions uh, it's all pretty straightforward here's the sunshade that goes over the monitor uh, you've got a couple of choices of antennas. Like here's the standard antenna for the monitor itself. And then you have an extender cable for 
the camera module or you have just a regular antenna here but here is an extension cable and a magnetic mount camera uh, antenna in case you're not getting good signal uh, or direct signal you can change the uh, antenna position on the camera what I didn't plan on and unfortunately it's going to keep me from probably finishing the project today is the camera itself has to be wired up to a power source I, f I figured that but um, I didn't realize that the cord was so short and I've got to go from the very back of my camera or camper with the camera all the way to the front which is where the battery is um, my other option would be to tap into tap the power into like say the marker lights or something uh, which then the uh, camera would power up anytime I turned on the marker lights uh, which I may, may do that too that'd be fairly simple and then I could keep the uh, uh, wiring short but uh, let me think about it and see what we're going to do. Uh, also have to determine where to mount this large monitor. It's a nice large monitor. I like that part, but uh, the bulk of it, I'm going to have to figure out where I want to put it in my cab. Uh, so I guess we'll uh, try to figure that out. Okay. Uh, I'm out in the truck now. And as you can see, it's got a really nice big monitor, uh, which is both good and bad. I've spent quite some time trying to determine exactly where to mount this so that it wouldn't impede with the function of the truck. Um, I'm having some difficulty here. It comes with two mount options. It comes with, you know, your standard... Uh, 3M tape, sticky mount, which you can go almost anywhere with. I looked at going overhead with it. It also comes with a permanent mount, swivel mount. If I mount it somewhere along in here, it gets in the way of the radio. Um, so I'm trying... trying to determine what to do here and having some difficulty. I'm uh, going to have to think on this and I'll get back with you. Okay, so after trying a bunch of different locations and not really having much luck uh, at finding any permanent mount location for this large screen, I... Uh, I actually asked my wife for some suggestions, and she had an absolutely simple yet brilliant solution that goes along with uh, my desire to keep this unit portable. And it was, quite simply, to get one of the weighted or sandbag, um, <clears throat> whatever you want to call it, uh, dash pads. And you can simply set it up there when you need it. Simply put it up there, plug it in when you're ready. Remove it and store it when you're done. Okay, so I decided to go uh, with the non-permanent mount magnet and this is a really strong strong magnet and what i'm going to do right now it's mounted on the back steel bumper tube uh, good and solid there no problems and what i'm going to do since we've made the uh, uh, monitor portable i'll make uh, the camera unit portable as well and what I've decided to do is tap into my taillight wires and make little 
pigtails. I've already tested my wires and I know that the white is my ground and the black is my marker light. So uh, I'm gonna make a little pigtail that will drop out out of my tail light and be able to unplug and plug the camera as I need. Okay, so part of the reason I decided to go with the uh, tapping into the taillight wiring rather than run wires all the way to the battery uh, was actually twofold, partially for the portability. Also, uh, that way the battery isn't being constantly powered and draining, or the, the camera head isn't always constantly powered. It's powered only whenever I turn on the taillights. Uh, which I can turn on and off with ease as I need it. Uh, so I think that's going to work out really, really well. I've got the connector scrimped onto the end of the camera head. I get my little pigtail built here. Okay, right now I don't have any power to this, but it's always wise to cut one wire at a time, not multiple wires. Even though I know it's not powered, I don't want to don't want to do that. I pulled some slack out uh, from inside the body of the camper. I will peel these back, and then I'll use some of these handy dandy heat shrinks that uh, actually come from my son-in-law Talon. Uh, he started a little company called the Talon Group uh, where he sells these heat shrink connectors in this cool little compartment. Uh, I'll include a link for that for people that might be interested. Uh, Talon still works for the shop. He's just started a side company trying to earn some extra money from the, hopefully our grandkids someday. All right, so since I'm going, these are thin wires here. I'm gonna use, twist these together and use a blue butt connector. Like so, and then my pigtail will come out of this other end. one get another blue butt connector from the Talon group remove the insulation off of the ground wires now twist these together Sure the crimp's good. All right, we're good there. And we'll take the black, which will be our marker, or our power. For the pigtail that will power up the camera head. Crimp it good. The white will be our ground for the pigtail to the camera head. Crimp it good. And take the uh, take a little torch and heat shrink the connectors so that moisture doesn't get in them. The heat shrink keeps out the moisture and helps the connection from corroding. 
also helps keep the wires in place. All right. Done with that. These wires will come out right down through here. You can go ahead and put the lens cover back on. Because there's enough space where these wires are moving freely. They're not crimped, which is really, really good. Then it's just as simple as plugging up male to female, quick connect, and male to female, quick connect. That way I can't get them wrong. I put male on one side, female on the other connection. That way it's easy. And now the camera should get power whenever we turn on the marker lights. So we'll get set up and test that theory. Okay, so if I've done the wiring right on the back, uh, the camera should be powered up when I have the marker lights turned on. I have the marker lights turned on right now. Thanks to my wife's brilliant idea of the portable sandbag mounting method and the option of the quick adapter and cigarette lighter plug that comes from Halo View, the company. Uh, it's a simple plug and play. I plug this in and if I've got good signal strength between the camera and the monitor, we should have picture. Aha, we have picture. I did it right. Uh, there appears to be some sound coming through. I'll have to play with the um, settings on that, but also I want to check and see if when I turn the marker lights off, if it kills the power to the camera. So here we go. Three, two, one, powering off. All right. That powered the camera off. I'm going to turn the lights back on, the marker lights. Three, two, one. And we have camera power again. So, we're good to go. That was pretty simple. Uh, the picture quality looks pretty good for a wireless system, uh, I gotta say. Okay, so now we will show whenever we go home. Uh, I'll show this in use whenever I uh, start backing up. But for right now, I'm going to unplug this and enjoy the whole reason that we come camping. See, now this is, I'm done with it. I can store it away. And my son and his friend are way over there on the dock fishing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we've got the camera installed, it's time to kick back and relax and enjoy the whole reason we come camping anyway. I'll sit here with my Mater mug full of uh, fresh brewed Earl Grey. Watch the waves. Ethan and his friend over there walking back from fishing. Who knows, we may go fishing in a little bit. But we're going to get some camping time in now. It's nice and cool this afternoon, so we may build a campfire this evening. Who knows? That's the good thing about camping. You can do whatever you want. Just relax and enjoy it. You can do something or you can do absolutely nothing. We love it. This is uh, camping is our family time. We absolutely love it. Just sit here and relax. Beautiful place out here. 
it's not ours this is a campsite we don't live here I wish we did this is a beautiful place but it's close enough to home where I can be back at the shop within 10 minutes if I need to be but yet it's far enough away that I can uh, enjoy a little bit of respite sun setting through the trees I know my life is gets kind of crazy sometimes with all the jobs it's chaotic it's dangerous you got to take time and just relax every now and then relax and refresh so that's what we're doing right now. Little bird skipping across the top of the water. Say hi, Mater. Well, we're out on another fishing adventure with Ethan and a new friend. Not new friend, but different friend today. Ethan's already caught one small catfish. And he thinks he's getting another bite. Nope, you missed him. I saw it tap, but you missed him. Okay, Ethan's getting more fish taps. Is that you tightening it up, or is that the... There it is. Nope. Darn it. If it hadn't gone already. Still there? There you go. A little better one this time. Ours is about the same size. That's a little bigger. I didn't know if that was you tightening it up or. Yep, Ethan's about to get him another one. There it is. Nope, maybe. Yep, it's, on it's on. Okay, fish on. Little one. Maybe. Maybe not. Is that the same one? Nah, this I one doubt. Not near as hard. Oh, Just pull him up. That's still a decent one for this pond. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're all coming up spinning. That's a decent fish. That's a decent fish. Hello, kitty. Yep, Ethan caught an albino. Ooh, that's a good albino too. Got it. Wow, that's a decent one. Got him. Put my hand around it. Holy crap! Well, it is a beautiful day. We'd love to be able to stay longer. 
We've had a wonderful, wonderful time, but uh, as with everything, all good things must come to an end eventually. Uh, we'll be able to come back, but the weather didn't quite cooperate with us. Uh, we had rain, we had storms, we had cold, we had wind, lots of wind, uh, but we did get some family time and that's what's important uh, regardless of what the weather was. We got to spend time with the family. Uh, Ethan got to bring some friends up. We got to go fishing last night. Him and his buddies uh, cooked up some fresh catfish that they caught. So all in all, it's been a been a good trip. So uh, now it's time to go home. We're gonna test out the new uh, wireless uh, video camera and monitor system and see if it works. Okay, so. Time to try it out for real. Turn it on. And then remember I had the camera itself plugged into the marker light. So I'm gonna turn the marker lights on. Three, two, one. See if we got signal and we've got signal. Okay, good solid picture really good solid picture I didn't order anything but the one camera this is capable of taking up to four cameras and it has a micro SD slot so you can actually record video with this as well so right there there's four cameras uh, you can show the four camera mode which uh, I may look into doing that could be pretty awesome all right Let's try it out. Seatbelt on, we're already hooked up and ready to go. Make sure this isn't gonna slide around on me. Make sure it's showing on the camera good. just using the standard uh, antenna it has an extension antenna that uh, you can get for a stronger signal up here it's got the signal strength and you can get a stronger signal by using the extension camera which will uh, take care of some of that lag time but as you can see we can see behind us uh, we'll try it going down the road and see how it goes. Right now it looks really good. I like the fact that we made it portable too because I can take it on uh, different vehicles and such. Also help see who's behind you when you're on the road to know if it's safe to uh, change lanes. With the four camera system, you could put cameras like under the mirror so you could see your blind spots. Uh, there's, there's all kind of things you could do. I'm just gonna stay with the one camera for now and see how well it does. Looks like I may want to go with the uh, 
antenna extender on the camera portion itself. Try to get rid of a little bit of that lag, but other than that, the picture quality is great. And this is the low resolution model. I've got a uh, wired model that's 1080 uh, high definition that I'm going to put on one of the uh, uh, trucks at the shop. I'm not sure which one I'm going to put it on yet, but I got the wireless model to try on the camper. Um, just thought it'd be easier since I connect and disconnect from it. And uh, it's also portable. I can take it away. On traffic coming up beside us. their own if you're backing up and you've got somebody signaling you I, I could see where that would come in handy where you'd want somebody back there and you could listen to them Backing up. 
then we'll go on home. Camping is over for this trip. wide space here to back this in through so it's not that big of an issue here could be if you were in tight quarters all right that worked out well so far i'm happy with it Turn the marker lights off, cameras off, unplug it, store it away, and it's all good to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know this isn't our normal type of video, but um, you guys want to see more in the uh, day of life of Ron Pratt. This is part of... Uh, Part of who I am, we go camping, we try to enjoy family time as much as possible. Um, so right now, I'm gonna go do just that, have time with my family. As always, thank you for watching, and God bless.